<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up. Uh, we be turned up, we be talking about them Aries. We is growing, we be talking about them Aries. Turn up, turn up. We talking about them Aries. This for September, we talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, we be talking about them Aries. What's up, Aries? What's up, Ram? Gang, gang, gang. What's up, baby? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boy, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, y'all, I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot. This depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? To all of my new subscribers, to my old subscribers, to the new ones, welcome to the family, baby. We don't fight, we don't fuss, we don't even hit bitches with bottles no more. We just move on about our lives and grow and evolve and win, 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 okay? So, what we're doing right now is I am thanking my new family. Welcome on in, okay? Thank y'all for the enlightenment. Thank you for the uplifting. Thank you for encouraging. And thank you for evolving with me. Because that's what we do here, okay? We one big, sometimes dysfunctional asshole family. We cry. We make us a little bit. We express our damn selves. But this is a no judge, no flex zone. We don't do that, all right? So this will be from the 1st to the 15th of September. This is not a personal. It is a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found below. Also, Y'all better go ahead and get it. I'm Aries, so you know I mean this shit. Y'all better go ahead and get your $10, 10-minute 10 reading special in if you're going to get it. Because after September the 1st, that special forever and always is cut. Finito. It's gone. Okay? Um, Comes with evolution, you know. I have begun to trust in myself a whole lot more. I have begun to grow and evolve within my gift. And to be honest with you, somebody called me cheap. And I was like three disturbed by that. So because of that, I am trying to blossom, you know. And I just have to be realistic. As much as I would like to make everything inexpensive, Mocha's world is not inexpensive. So with that said, I have to, you know, really, really, really how can I put it? The word I'm trying to use is not coming to me. I don't know if it's because of my damn allergy medicine, but whatever. But I'm trying to grow and evolve, and I ain't going to do that stand still and playing nice every damn day, okay? I can't compromise with every single person because then what would I gain? Or for that matter, you know what I'm saying? What would I lose? Because it's a lot of energy to put in doing this, okay? So I felt like I've been noticing the pattern between my outrate, my out irate people, the people who feel as if they're entitled to some shit, Outside of the nice things that I do on my own, you know, so because of that, um, I found a pattern of it was really $10 readings. Like people for 10 minutes, they be expecting so much. The $10 reading is one question, one answer, okay? Outside of that, you better pay for more time because at this point, I'm no longer extending any more of my readings. And it's nothing personal. It's just the fact that sometimes, y'all, you got to just freaking get it, okay? And I get it, all right? So we rocking. Um, Ram Gang, Ooh, perception. Perception this month is going to be something. There is more than one way of seeing things, Spirit wants you guys to know, okay? Uh, if you're new, if you, you're just tuning in, this is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus and Cross Watchers, for the sign of Aries, all right? So we rocking. So out the gate, we're going to start off with this Crystal Angels Oracle card, okay, from the Dream Virtue, right? So the oracle message that Aries received for this month is Amethyst. Y'all, I love Amethyst. I meditate with my Amethyst daily because I be having to keep my intuition popping. Amethyst, okay? It says, revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are, okay? Authenticity. It's time to stand up and stand in your own power, Aries. If they can't take you, they can't accept you. Everybody ain't going to like you, but you will respect me. That's a must. Let them know, Aries. Amethyst, revealing your true self. This card comes to you to reassure that you, I'm sorry, to reassure you that it's safe to be real and authentic with others. You will feel much better when you reveal your true feelings. Even if others don't understand, Bottling them up isn't healthy, nor is it effective. Remember that people can disagree and still love each other. 
provided that they treat the relationship with respect. If you have been teased for being different, you may fear revealing your true self. Your guardian angel is assuring you that you are unique, created for a special purpose, and you will find your special purpose by revealing your uniqueness. Okay, stand in your authentic self, Aries. Your guardian angels love you unconditionally and knows who you really are, oh, what your dreams are, and what you're capable of. Be sure to call upon God and your guardian angels to boost your confidence and learn to love yourself as they love you. This card is also a sign for you to complete a project that's from your heart, such as writing a book or song, creating an artistic piece, or starting a business that will help others. We are spiritual teachers, Aries. Uh, pray for courage and to be led to trustworthy, helpful people who will honor and support your journey. Okay, so for those of you I'm feeling, I'm seeing um, cards in my third eye. I'm seeing uh, writing. I'm seeing music notes. So a lot of Aries are artists, okay, or I'm seeing if you are doing something that uh, maybe you love. Whatever it is that you desire, baby, I felt like at one period of time, a lot of you guys tried something, and maybe it didn't kick off when you wanted it to then, but now is the time. Mother wants you to know that whatever it is that you desire, you can create whatever you like. You can create your reality off of what it is that you desire. For some of y'all, it's a person. And for some of y'all, y'all have a Capricorn desiring you right now, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, I feel like with that, with that particular situation, uh, I feel like, now that your third eye is awakened, okay, remember I'm talking to with that Capricorn as well as the Leo is in the building, Pisces is in the building as well, as well as Aquarius, whoever is, whoever it is that you're desiring or who is desiring you during this time, Aries, they really want to, they re really want to, uh, procreate okay or to recreate with you okay so i do feel like you're coming out of one cycle and going into another okay so during this time whatever it is that you're desiring baby whether it's love whether it's passions whether it's starting your own business act on it and do not during this time mother wants you to know your perception of things can also be blockages to you okay so if you feel like if you want new love you're manifesting new love don't go into new love like up uh, boom there goes the dynamite like all oh, shit then what you gonna do no shift your perspective shift your mindset okay so that you can really create a beautiful reality yeah we have walked out of our karmic cycles most of us have ended our karmic cycles some of us are slower than others but it's been a very karmic time for Aries, okay, with the full moon being in Pisces, it being an illusionist, we can fall trapped to many illusions during this time. Your mind, so mother's wanting you to know, trust what you feel, okay, because sometimes those head over heart decisions, yeah, it keeps us comfortable. But Aries, are you happy? Okay, just real shit. What is it that you want? You got to be real with yourself right now. But some of y'all, I feel like those of us who feel stuck and trapped in in trapping situations, it's because you're looking at it from an emotional approach. If you begin to step outside of the circumstance during this time, during the first to the fifteenth, a lot of y'all gonna step outside of yourself and start to see things in the light, in the eyes of maybe someone like a third party or a third person, and it's gonna allow you to shift your perception on things. Okay, that's been blocking you for quite some time, and for some of y'all, it's gonna you're gonna find that it's ego. OK, it's ego and being so overwhelmed in your emotions that you don't make logical decisions. OK, to the best of your ability and to others, it, it, you, you feel like you you were naive after the fact. OK, trust what you feel. OK, use your head and making practical decisions. But if you if, if the practical decision is not yet in your face, don't look at one. Don't look at any situation going forward, especially between the first and September with one with a one sided mindset okay look at it from your side of the fence look at it from the other side of the person's point of view and look at it as if you were an outsider take what you're hearing take what you're receiving take the information that's being given to you or given out to somebody else not with the emotions of what you're hearing okay but for the information and it will it will allow you to things that's been that are being resurfaced okay the things that hadn't quite been all the way purged out, all right, you'll begin to see things differently in order to help you make those decisions, not from, from not from an emotional place or an emotional or regretful or remorseful place, but from a place of wisdom, a center place, 
a balanced place, okay? So that you can move closer to your desires, whether that be a person, place, or a thing, okay? So during this time, a lot of y'all, spirit is asking for you to be centered, okay? Uh, for those of you who have been meditating, okay? Also, during this time, a lot of y'all are needing to eat more strawberries, okay? More berries, add more berries to your diet. I see strawberries. Some of you are needing to eat more grapes as well. Um, oranges for some people or just simply drink orange juice because I strongly feel like you're needing calcium, okay? You have to be aware of what you're putting in and out your body, what's coming in and out your body, okay? Um, this is definitely a time to really focus on your health areas between the 1st and the 15th. Some of y'all, you cannot overwork yourself, okay? And feel like you're going to, because some of y'all feel like you're not getting enough rest and mother needs you to rest. That's why you're off your damn rock or you need some sleep. All right. Everybody got, everybody needs to take, give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off. Of people. You know, you don't have to be eating a Kit Kat to take a break, people. Okay. Just take a break. <laughs> Shit. All right. But I do feel a lot of y'all needing to be centered. Okay. Um, some of y'all, some of y'all. Spirit is really trying to flourish you into a whole new place, but you're kind of standing in your own way, standing still. You're not seeing the things that are right in front of you and the intentions of either, the intentions of people right in front of you. Some of y'all have people trying to block your growth, and I feel like it's strong earth energy. A lot of y'all are going to be receiving downloads while in nature during this time, okay? Some of y'all third eye is popping. It is booming and this full moon do not allow i do not let some of the downloads that you receive that you will be receiving between this two week period after that full moon um that just occurred on the 26th last night after that full moon okay do not let your downloads scare you because some of y'all are going to be receiving downloads at a very fast pace and it's just pretty much a key map a direction set okay it's telling you which step to take next where you need to go who you need to let go what 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 gets you where follow the ladder baby okay yeah, some of y'all are definitely moving toward what it is that you're passionate about. And it was destined for you to make this move, okay? But a lot of y'all won't. A lot of y'all, this is destiny, okay? A lot of us are moving into our soul purpose during this time, okay? So whatever it is that your intuition is nudging you towards doing, even if it's moving, even if it's leaving a job, even if it's leaving family members behind, whatever it is, trust your intuition. Fuck what they said. What did you feel? Trust it, okay? Right, so during this time, a lot of y'all going to be moving away from things, packing your shit up, and I holler, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, you've been stuck in situations possibly for three months, three years, three weeks, but you've been stuck or feeling stuck or kind of mentally in prison, okay, and kind of seeing the... Kind of seeing the worst in situations versus what you've gained, what you've learned, okay? How you've kept 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 yourself upright, okay? How you've remained solid, strong as a damn lion. As well as persistent in your pursuits, okay? A lot of y'all have flourishing abundance coming to you during this time. That's your money, love, passion, okay? Abundance come in many forms, all right? Spiritual abundance, mental abundance, emotional abundance. But the abundance is all around you. You see, ain't no room for her to put some of that shit. Abundance is all around you. During this time, for those of you who are feeling, I'm also seeing someone thinking about uh, doing something agriculturally, like growing your own, growing your own um, fruits and vegetables. Baby, make sure you get all the information uh, regarding that. But again, that's a part of your destiny. OK, a lot of y'all are seeing the beauty within the self and learning how to be by yourself during this time. And you're going to treat yourself so damn good that it's going to attract the love that God was that, that God sent here for you, baby. OK, so be accepting. Be receiving and do not hold on to any outcomes nor the emotions of the shit that people are saying right now, okay? Because for some of them, they you have air signs in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They are intentionally trying to hurt you from the looks of this. However, it's not it's it's not what's going on. It's how you look at it, okay? And make your next move the best move, all right? That don't mean you have to vocally say, "Well, motherfucker," you don't got to do all that. Let the left hand know what the right hand is going to do. But always stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But change the way you see in things, okay? Because I do see that that's going to shift whether you change it voluntarily or not. 
Also, during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be moving away from things of the past, moving away from people of the past. Something about the number three. Some of y'all could be seeing three, three, three during this time, signifying expansion coming into your world, okay? Some of y'all have new babies coming. Congratulations. Some of y'all are moving away from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? And some of y'all who have moved away from a fire sign in the past, I feel like now you're kind of conflicted about it internally. Like, did I make the right move? Did this happen? Or, 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 or was I, you know, during this time, you kind of, some of y'all are going to be internally conflicted about letting someone go okay but it's for your highest and greatest good baby you don't see it right now oh but in a few more months i do see within the next three weeks or within three days of walking away from that person some of y'all please come in because this is strong coming through within three days three weeks three months of walking away from that person you're going to be doing a little dance like yes <laughs> it's called a dodge the bullet dance okay y'all gonna be doing a dodge the bullet dance Hello? All right, so some of y'all have an Aries Leo Sag. You're going into a new cycle with some of you, especially if this is the father of your children or a father figure. Strong emphasis on Leo, but this could be a Sag as well and or Aries. I do feel like some of y'all have newness coming to your life in the form of an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person can have children already, but this person is coming in to bring abundance into your life after a period of self-reflection, self-love, as well as newness. Okay, this is a part of your newness here. All right. Spirit, what do you have on my Aries between the 1st and 15th of September? In love, career, whatever comes, I guess. Some of y'all, some of y'all have been having something going on with um, a legal case that has been very burdening. Uh, during this time, that is going to end, it's going to come to a close, okay? I do see some of y'all who've been waiting to, waiting for your divorce to be final. That is going to be coming forward between the 1st and the 15th. That shit's going to be a wrap, okay? Congratulations. Invite me to the divorce party. I love those. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are going to get justice after carrying a burdensome situation, possibly with the Sagittarius or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are going to be going to court. There's going to be some court ruling. For some of y'all, you're not even going to see it coming. It's literally coming out of the blue, like justice was working in your favor without you even knowing once you let that shit go. Let that shit go, sis. Some of y'all want to have um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, that wants to reunite with you, okay? And I ain't gonna lie, this time, y'all, they coming back. This person, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who maybe dealt with somebody in the past and maybe you didn't have a solid footing, okay? Uh, maybe there was, like, I feel like this is an issue with finances was it was a, was an issue in the past. But now this person is getting their shit together. They ready to love on you the right way because they see your worth and they know that you, that they know you ain't sticking around for that bullshit because you left before. All right. I also see some of y'all have a fire sign, someone that you have family, a family with possibly. This person wants to come in and start over and start a new cycle because they can now recognize that you are the lover. I mean, that you are their lover. Some some of y'all have a Gemini. Um, and I feel like this person is your ace of cups, but it's the way that you're looking at the things that they do. I feel like you're looking at the things that they say as literal Versus getting to the root of it. And during this time, you're going to be getting to the root of it. Some of y'all are going to be moving away from a Gemini. I feel like for some of y'all, you moved away from a Gemini possibly uh, in the month of June. Now this person is coming back. They want to fix it. Okay. Some of y'all are dealing with another Aries. And I feel like you're feeling like it's not a it's not an equal level of give and take. Well, that's going to change during this time. All right. I feel like this person was keeping their feelings close to their chest. And now they're going to offer you that new beginning. All right. Strong emphasis on Aries. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Capricorn or Virgo. All right. Some of y'all wasn't. Y'all finally are going to communicate the reciprocity shit. I need you to give me this. It's a must or I'm gone. Okay. And this person is going to comply. They may. I feel like in the past they've been acting. They acted really stubborn. But during this time, the first and the 15th of September, they're going to comply. Some of y'all have another Aries that is a soulmate to y'all, y'all. This person may give you money even though they don't express their love during this time. I feel like they're going to express their love, but this person is not the type of person that expresses their love like in a way of communication. They do it through their actions. Some of y'all are going to link up with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, let's get it. Spirit, please show me clarify. But yeah, some of y'all are going to be moving forward possibly with the Leo, okay? I feel like this person, especially if this person is the father of your children, I feel like you and this person has had a very turbulent past. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So just like you have evolved and you went through some changes, so have this person, especially if y'all have been out of contact for at least two years or two months. But some 
some of y'all it's five years for some of y'all it's three years okay this can also be an Aries or a Sag but if this is a Leo this is a new person if it's a Sagittarius or Aries this is someone who you could possibly have children with okay or in the future definitely have children with this is somebody who was meant who was destined to be embarked on your path uh, for some of y'all, y'all have a fire sign that you are already dealing with that gets on your damn nerves. You're wondering if you're in a three-party situation with that damn, with that other Sagittarius, or if that Sagittarius got you in a three-party situation with an air sign, and possibly a another fire sign or a water sign. You're absolutely right, sis. All right, let me see. Y'all gonna find this out as well. That full moon illuminated a lot. It got me popping right now. Yeah, some of y'all have, some of y'all are ending the burdensome situation with, um, with a Libra, okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all were worried about how a court decision or a court ruling was going to go. It's going to go in your favor, baby. But again, it starts with your mind. Some of y'all, some of y'all were worried due to a mistake that somebody made with a three, with a three party situation okay somebody cheated somebody was being ass and really being quite the jerk to this person who cheated okay even though internally y'all they were broken and they didn't really know how to communicate it you're going to see it through your act through through their actions at this point because i feel like some of y'all tired of this shit and you're going to hit the door okay i'm tired of trying to reunite i'm tired of trying to as soon as you get ready to leave now they're like baby 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 please baby please come back and talk to me that's how they gonna be. Let me know who gonna hit that uh who gonna hit that five heart beat. Baby, please, please, <laughs> please, please. They gonna beg like that. <laughs> Why is the three of swords here, please? For Aries, show me. Why are the three of swords here? Yeah, some of y'all had a Gemini put you in a third party situation. And person could have been with the Sagittarius, okay, but I feel like some of y'all, y'all patiently waited, hung on in there, because you already knew the shit was going to hit the fan, uh, some of y'all, in the past, there was a third party situation, okay, this does definitely involve the Sag, y'all, it could also involve a Taurus or a Leo, but y'all was put in a third party situation, or Gemini, y'all was put in a third party situation, or Put someone else in a third party situation, y'all. That cycle, and I feel like that's what caused all this drama over here to my left. But keep that shit to the left, to the left. Everything you want in the box to the left. It gotta go. Let that hurt go. Look, let that hurt go. Let that hurt go, sis. Let that hurt go, bro. Let that hurt go. Yeah, some of y'all have a new. Some of y'all have fell in love with a Virgo. Okay, some of y'all want to reunite with a Virgo. You gonna get what you want. Some of y'all are moving away, possibly from an earth sign. Some of y'all are moving away from a Leo as well. This person could have actually had a baby with someone from their past, and you were already trying to work it out with this person. But then after finding this shit out, you like, hell no, I got to go. Okay? And this person is very sorry, and they want to reunite. But some of y'all are choosing yourself self-love. Okay? And you're just like, fuck it, because this is not our first time being here. Probably won't be our last. And this time, I'm going to choose me. Okay? Um, some of y'all are going coming out of a cycle and going into a new one with the Gemini. Okay. Some of y'all that Aries that you want, they ain't really been talking to you emotionally. Here they come. They're going to give you that offer of love. It, I feel like it may be a little childlike, like they may say it in a playful way during this time, but it's coming. Some of y'all are dropping the burdens on the fire sign where well, there's not an equal give and take. Okay. I feel like that some of y'all, this is the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, but some of y'all is just like, you know what? You can't give me what I want. I'm giving, 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 giving. You act like you can't see my value, my worth. I'm over the shit. Holla. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. Some of y'all have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's trying to hold on to y'all for money. They want this new beginning with you. Hell of high water, even if they got to pay for it. And don't tell me it's not happening, because I see this shit. <laughs> Some of y'all have an earth sign uh, that wants to hold on to you, okay? But I feel like the love that they give is, I'm not going to say it's not enough because everybody loves differently, but Aries, you feel like it's not enough. You're focusing on your money. You're not giving anything else into it because you feel like you didn't give enough. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah. A lot of y'all going to be moving into y'all power after getting truth and clarity, possibly either regarding or about uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I'm sorry, either from or regarding a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, some of y'all going to be able to get 
it's some cutting truth for some of y'all, okay? For some of y'all, it's going to involve uh, the court system. This could be paternity tests. This could be marriages. This could be divorces. But y'all going to find out some shit that's going to allow you to move forward. Sit in your damn queen of ones, king of ones seat like, <laughs> can't touch this. <laughs> da, na, na, na. Da, da. Yeah, can't touch this, okay? Can't touch this. But some of y'all have, uh, some of y'all going to finally get that truth from that Leo and that Sagittarius. But some of y'all, you're needing this power moment in order to build on beauty to, to be to bring the beauty back in a relationship some of y'all are moving away from an Aries Leo Sagittarius you're moving away from possibly past arguments with this person because I feel like you're moving away from conflict you're looking in the past at it now you're being more you're at a reflective state and now you're just like I'm done with that shit I'm not gonna do it I'm I've been shifting my whole energy I'm not the person who I once was and I feel like in the past, you possibly kept arguing with this person, which is why the cycle kept coming over and over and over and over again. Well, during this time, that time it's, time, it's the anniversary of that damn wheel turning, and here come this person. And what you going to do this time, Aries? You going to turn up or you going to turn away? Because your graduation at this point is up to you, my baby, because you got all new, new. Some of y'all have, you're going to start something new. Some of y'all going to be starting your own businesses. Some of y'all going to be starting your own pursuits. And in doing so and moving away from this person and trusting yourself, you look good, don't you, by yourself. That shmoney look good. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's been having financial issues. A few of y'all with financial burdens. You look good. Let that hurt go, sis. Let it go. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. What I did, what, what happened? Why you did that to me? Why wasn't I good enough? You was damn good because you kept them damn two cups back there standing by yourself uh, alone, by themselves, by yourself. You did that alone. Pick your head up. Pick your head up and trust yourself, okay? Again, some of y'all need this power moment to get you out of this period of indecision. Some of y'all could definitely been uh, internal, internally fighting regarding. Some of y'all could actually be not wanting to move on possibly in a relationship i feel like this is somebody who has some scorpio in their chart and somebody who definitely got some leo and maybe some air in their chart but i feel like y'all been internally fighting about making that move either to deal with them or to move away from them but some shit finna hit the fan so some of y'all possibly finna find out about a kid or some shit like that and this is the real reason the person may have told you something why they left or why they disappeared or something but y'all gonna find about y'all gonna find out about the real reason why they left you're going to cut their ass short. I don't care how long you've known them, okay? That's what a lot of y'all I'm hearing. But some of y'all, you need this tower moment to occur because I feel like it's keeping you from making this damn decision that you know you need to make. Some of y'all are being juggled by earth sign or water sign, okay? Or were in the past and you 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 kind of you love this person, so you don't know if you want to continue putting the work in. But some of y'all are going to put that same work that you put in that person into yourself, baby. You're going to make that judgment call and possibly about a water sign, cancer to be exact, okay? Oh, sorry, cancer to be exact. That truth and that look, that truth is coming in. Some of y'all have a cancer coming in, and some of y'all have a Pisces or a Scorpio. But some of y'all finna definitely make a water uh, a judgment call regarding the family situation with a water sign. Okay, either to look here, <laughs> look at this here, <laughs> to start over and make this shit work and focus on my coin communication, my cup. As well as my passions at the same time because I'm Aries, the magician, number one. I, I do this shit. It's like a sixth sense. To focus on that or to turn elsewhere with my motherfucking cup and just focus on love. And you see me, the queen, I'm, I'm, I'm to focus on loving myself. For some of y'all, it's going to be a turnaround in the situation with a cancer of uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, after walking into your power, okay? Go get your power back. Don't let nobody else take your power. Again, two judgments. The judgment again and the magician. Again. All right? You're going to turn up. You're going you're gonna to turn up or you're going to turn away and go live your best life. It's your choice, babes. You know, I support it. Every, any decision that you make because it's free will choices. However, make your next move. I love y'all babies. This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of September. Remember, if you need that general, hit me up, boo. But guess what? For a lot of y'all, turning away, gonna help you jump off that wheel and go get your go get your life. Get your coins, get your money. Cause right now, Aries is I'm seeing a lot of pinnacles. Aries focusing on the coin and all the rest of that shit, it's a distraction. That's what I'm gonna name that shit. Sis, it's a distraction. No worries. We done with that.
All right. So I love y'all. Hit me up and, uh, if this resonates. I thank you for the likes, shares, comments, as well as subscribes in advance. And I will see y'all mid-month August. If you need that personal, hit me up. Y'all know how it works. Same day or next day. Let's get it. Mm. Deuces, boo.